this short story collection was kind of ready-made because what happened was uh, uh, I had been writing a lot of novels and then my teaching schedule kicked up and I, I wasn't able to put as much time into writing. So I was writing short fiction. And it turns out that over the years I had managed to uh, build a relationship with a, an author or an editor at Analog named uh, Stan Schmidt. And for years, I, the first place I ever submitted a story to when I was 17 years old was Analog Magazine. And it got rejected. And I thought, well, you know, I'm not nuts and bolts enough, not hard science fiction enough. And for years, I, w I didn't submit to them. And then I started publishing novels and other things like this and publishing in other magazines. And I was up in Seattle for the opening of the Science Fiction Museum. And I was riding back in the bus with Stan Schmidt. And we got to talking. And he said, you need to submit something to me. And I, I said, well, Stan, you know, I, I, I don't know if I write hard SF enough, hard science fiction enough. He says, I'm the editor. I'll tell you what I like and don't like. Don't you tell me what I'm going to like or not like. And so eventually I started submitting to him, and he began to take everything I wrote. And between 2007 and 2017, and his, his successor editor, Trevor Quatri, continued this happy relationship. And so all of those stories appeared in analog in that 10-year period. And there's two novellas, two novelettes, and uh, six short stories. It's almost 100,000 words. Uh, so it was kind of ready-made. They, they had appeared in the magazine. They were already established. I was in, I was at the World Science Fiction Convention in San Jose this year, and I happened to be talking to a friend of mine who's an independent publisher uh, named uh, Jacob Wiseman with Tachyon Books. And he said, you know, you've got that analog collection. You know, you've, you've written a lot for analog. You ought to put it together in a collection. And he said, I know someone who'd be interested in that collection. And there's a, a gentleman by the name of Patrick Swenson, who's the publisher of a, uh, an independent uh, press called Fairwood Press. And they're the ones who brought it out. I, I submitted it to him uh, after, after uh, Jacob took me over to his, his booth where he was selling his uh, uh, books that his publishing house put out. And I shook his hand and said, yeah, I want to see, see what you've got. So I submitted that, uh, that collection. And he got back to me and I said, yeah. We'll do it, and we'll release it either at Worldcon in Dublin or at uh, World Fantasy here in L.A., depending on how quick he gets the cover together and all that other stuff.